This is Deb, I don't know, February 19th. Been without internet access since the 15th, all week, Monday through Friday. The level of difficulty I'm living through over here is just phenomenal. And I'm sitting here, I'm reading, importantly, I yoga. I've got the, the knee for the glasses. Not in this case. This looks better than, looks a lot better than I would imagine myself looking. I mean, in far as seeing myself in focus, whether the camera does or not. So look, here's the interesting thing. I'm going off and off on my migration strategy. And like this is not rocket science, but oh my God, it's kind of rocket science. You know, the migration through India and then into China and ultimately Japan was not a latitude in all migration. It was a longitudinal migration. We, we'd always kind of got that. But elevation! Mount Kilimanjaro notwithstanding. Like, you know, Tibet, the mountains, the Himalayas are at the top of India and, and into China. Elevation, says Deb. The seeing didn't really alter. But the visual perception, the eyes physically altered. Not in the near term of India as much as the longer term migration into China. The eyes altered because of elevation. And I was sit how I thought about this was, was me sitting here, you know, being a hermit and trying to explain you know, this burst of, of creativity of, you know, understanding being human and well, knowing it's crucial to share it as the redheaded She-Hulk and everything. And I was thinking, I'm trying to get my vision all correct, and I was thinking about the lack of light that I really want to process and um, the challenges with the PCs and the, and the visual screens took away my ability to read, being alone, going through all these things. And um, something about the whiteness of it all. I started thinking about the 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 the, the lack of um, there's so many so many so many so many so many like there's a lot of lacks there. Okay, I just said that two ways. Well, onomatopoeia to start off with, and then some like, okay, you probably need like actual language. Need this language. But I was thinking about the the Japanese kids who 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 don't move at all. You know, this is tied into to the lack of movement that's happened here, and in the mold and walking and talking, like quite literally being the same thing. You're losing your ability to walk and talk, walk and see, move and think. It's all, it's really all circuitry. And if we go too much on any one given circuitry, so thinking about the, the tendency of the young kids and thinking about what got, I thought was thinking about the, you know, tiny matchboxness of, of, you know, the high rises, thinking about the high density of population in Tokyo and then living through that screen and, and not having much personal space, which would cause you to go more into inner space. That you like would physically not transverse spatially, but up and down. And then that kind of made me come back and realize that, you know, the, the canyons of the skyscrapers of Tokyo made me think about, well, the Himalayas is the gateway, that there would have been a lot more, like, enough alti extra altitude to change the physical structure of eyes. Does anyone ever explain this? I mean, I don't know if anyone has, I mean, it's, it's, there's questions about this, but understanding the migratory patterns of humans and how long that kind of adaptation might have taken 
we start to really, I mean, evolution is brilliant. It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I don't want this to be too long. We don't even know if this is ever getting. We know that this will get on the network at some time. I've been really, where's my peoples? Where's my peoples? And then I can keep coming back to, oh my God, this is, this is like the degree of difficulty of this like midlife metamorphosis. Can, can, can I dial it? Can I get, can I not be so polar bear to giraffish? Is, is there one fate? Can I just, can I just start having it all be easy? Now, I want this all to be easy now. I'm done with degree. I've got so much degree. I'll never get through. I, I don't need any more degree of difficulty. Things start going my way. Everything right now. I want no resistance whatsoever to Deb becoming secure. That's all. Financially secure, family secure. I don't care which one. Both and easy. He's Louise. Yeah. Well, that's why we got this turned on because I, you know, I like to have my epiphanies all, you know, on film. But also, what the hell's going on? It's good. I had been doing some palming and some really serious massaging, but look at look at look at these cheeks. It's, There is a real something going on in this right ear. And then when I when I pulled this, I mean, all kinds of crackling. Okay, well. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think I think there's just limp. I think that there's a lot of limp that a lot of a lot of glymphatic residue. Mm. Jeez. Jeez. All righty though. All righty though. This has been Zenzi. Oh, I forgot to mention. I do think it's important because I was thinking about um, the the sort of the, the 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 anime, the the you know the kids in Japan sitting in their rooms with almost no physical personal space, and the, then the sort of anime, the 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 cartoonish whiteness of the skin, um, the skin lightening bleaching creams. No, no more of that, peoples. Um, but then, like, that's like kabuki, like the, the, the ancestrally, the very, very, the affinity, because of the, probably the glaringness of the brightness of the snow from, from the Himalayan migration periods. Oh, would physically alter human eyes. That, that that some heinous evil men had all had, had used our differences for evil gain. It kept us from really using our big brains to understand our whole species complexly, you know, in, in a loving like way of celebrating these differences. It's all, you know, it's all relevant, it's all cultural. And that, you know, as I went through that sort of, the you know, the anime and the kabuki and the sort of childlike niche of the features, the Hello Kitty-ness of it all, it's very um, foreign to me, very, I'm African. It does not get this twisted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We don't know yet. We'll, we'll, we have not figured it out. We, we do not know, but might as well just say Zulu. It worked for me. So our Zulu-ness, Zulu is a 
afraid of my Guatemalanness. As Hank Azaria had once famously done in the birdcage. Hank mm. Azaria is Guatemalan. But he, he really rocked out them shorts in the birdcage. You know, Robin Williams, Nathan Lane. Why that's the international signal for Nathan Lane? Well, let's see if he likes it. You can't check what Robin on the international signal for Rob Williams. No nanning or doing. <laughs> this is so much fun. Do you know how much fun it is to just enjoy your own company and have access to your memory banks and be like, only way to stay alive is to be as me as I possibly could be. I've been trying to fit every other thing that society wanted and it all failing. What's left is for me to be me. Zen Z out. Zen Z life. You are responsible for what you've become. Now where is my Zen Zale? I need his bro right now. Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is my life partner at? Show up, show up, show up, show up. Senzale, where are you? Where the fuck are you? Well, so I look to the left, which is one of the feeling states or, or having an internal dialogue. Um, we'll have to go really, once again, I go, which back and forth. I'm not good right. I, I'm not, forget about, you know, I did, I did have some early life challenges with the left and the rightedness of it all. Like, I just didn't know. I really had to, to like assign, well, this is right, then this will be left, then this will be right, then this will be left. I did, I did have to, have to constantly assign that for, at a certain point in my development. I, there wasn't enough of that in my external environment for me to just chunk that there really was a, a, a repetitiveness. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, onze, douze, treize, quatorze, quinze, seize, dix-sept, dix-huit, dix-neuf, vingt, vingt-un, vingt-deux, vingt-trois, vingt-quatre, vingt-cinq, vingt-six, vingt-sept, vingt-huit, vingt-neuf, trente, trente-un, trente-deux, trente-trois. I'm doing a pippin. How much practicing have I done of counting in French? I have no capacity in the language whatsoever, but I got like a motherfucker French. Because this is a more pleasurable way of doing all them repetitions of exercises our culture had to have me do, which kept me fat. No, no, I don't need to I just move how movement feels good. Okay, fine. Better, better, better model. Human life by the numbers is not the best model. Okay.